Money doesn't buy love? In this video, we prove the opposite. These almost indistinguishable robots from a real woman are for sale, and in this video, we explain everything about them. These robots have an irresistible appeal that has altered society and how things are done because of their sincerity and candor. With no further delay, let's get into the video. We will watch robot number six now. Number six, Nadine. The social robot Nadine is a gynoid humanoid robot based on Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman. The robot closely resembles a human being because of its lifelike hands, natural looking skin, and hair. Nadine is a socially intelligent robot that can recall all of the conversations it has had, returns greetings, and establishes eye contact. Depending on the nature of the contact with the user, it may imitate emotions through facial expressions and movements to respond to queries on its own in a variety of languages. At AIA Singapore, Nadine served as a customer customer service representative. She has received training on how to respond to inquiries directed toward AIA customer care representatives. Additionally, she urges AIA clients to register with the AIA eCare registration portal. A conversational dialogue engine based on machine learning was trained using customer service interactions. To enable quick and secure communication, a client server architecture was also built up between our platform and the AIA site. Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman created Nadine, a gynoid humanoid social robot with lifelike hands and skin that resembles human flesh. Number 5. Erica Erica, who is 23 years old, is the most sophisticated humanoid to result from a partnership between the universities of Osaka and Kyoto and the sophisticated Telecommunications Research Institute International. The group's founder and professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, Hiroshi Ishiguro, is its driving force. He is most known for developing the android Geminoid HI-1, which bears striking resemblances to him, including his distinctive black leather jacket and a Beatles mop top constructed of his own hair. But compared to Ishiguro's silicone twin or his previous humanoid robot, Geminoid F, Erika looks far more like a genuine person. Even though she is unable to move independently, she speaks more clearly, has the ability to understand and respond to queries, and her facial expressions alter in an uncannily human-like manner in response to each statement. However, as people interact with robots more regularly, ethical questions have also surfaced that still need need adequate resolutions. Erica is a talking robot companion, but this scary humanoid is more lifelike and her creator, Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro, says she has a soul. Erika is reshaping Japan's robot culture as one of the most appealing and intelligent androids. Discussion may only go as far as reciting from a digital file implanted inside her. She is a talking companion for Japan's aging population and is part of a five-year-old research study designed to be a talking companion for those who live alone. We almost saw some details on the female robots. For more of it, continue watching the whole video. Subscribe to our channel before resuming for more such amazing videos. Number 4. Vyomitra the Indian Space Research Organization was prepared to launch Vyomitra, a lady robot, on the unmanned Gaganyan spacecraft before circling people on India's first manned voyage to space in December 2021. The focus of attention during the first session of Human Spaceflight and Exploration, Present Challenges and Future Trends was the robot. When she presented herself to the audience, Vyomitra, a mix of the Sanskrit terms Vyoma for space and and Mitra for friend caught everyone off guard. Good day, everyone! Vyom Mitra, the half-human prototype created for the first unmanned Gaganyan expedition, introduced herself. 
She described her part in the mission, saying, I can monitor using the module settings, notify you, and carry out life support procedures. I am capable of operating switch panels, for example. The robot claimed that she could interact with the astronauts as a companion, recognize them, and answer their questions. The half-humanoid would mimic human activities in space and interact with the Environment Control Life Support System, according to ISRO Chairman K. Sivan. Exact human functions will be simulated there in space. Number 3. Geminoid F Recently, a Japanese roboticist introduced Geminoid F, a female android who is his most recent invention. The latest robot is a replica of a young woman with long black hair. Compared to Ishiguro's earlier androids, they are more organically able to smile, frown, and alter facial expressions. Ishiguro, an Osaka University professor, is renowned for building the Geminoid HI-1, a telepresence android that he can manage from a distance. The brand new Geminoid F, or F for females, is likewise made to be remotely operated by a person. Ishiguro demonstrated how the android could replicate the woman's facial expressions when she was seated in front of a computer equipped with cameras and face tracking software during a news presentation in Osaka. Kokoro Company, a Japanese company that specializes in animatronics and ultra-realistic androids, helped Ishiguro build the android as part of his work at Osaka University and ATR Intelligent Robotics and Communication Laboratories. Ishiguro's team and Kokoro engineers set out to construct Geminoid F in order to produce an android that could display a variety of realistic expressions without using as many actuators as previous androids they had produced. Number 2. Arisa Tokyo's underground system may be rather intimidating for both locals and visitors. The map is sometimes compared by tourists to a large ball of knotted yarn. Tokyo officials are testing a new friendly robot to aid users in navigating the underground system. The six-foot-tall robot known as Arisa is stationed at the Oido Line's Ueno Okachimachi station. Arisa gives directions, information on the neighborhood, even the locations of the closest restrooms straight out of an anime manga. Additionally, the robot has an interactive screen that passengers may use to get more data. Arisa will give travelers advice on how to behave on the tube and local sites. The robot that resembles a person can speak four languages, Chinese, Korean, and English. If you ask gently, Arisa will even take photographs for you. The robot, which has experience working as a casino host and a receptionist, was developed by THK and Aruz Gaming. In addition to Arisa, robots will also be present in five more Tokyo stations to assist travelers. This is done in part to tackle Japan's serious labor shortage and enhance service. Number 1. Jia Jia if not, you definitely will in the near future. The University of Science and Technology of China recently created a humanoid robot that is so realistic that it walks the edge in the uncanny valley between being comforting and terrifying. She goes by Jia Jia and has a lot of attributes. They can talk to her directly and ask questions of her. She could produce minor facial gestures in response to questions or actions. During the news briefing, a bystander tried to take her picture. Keep your distance from me while you are taking photos was her response. As a consequence, my face will seem large. Jia Jia is a robot that can be programmed to carry out any task that is given to it by a human. You truly did hear it right. Jia Jia is trained to use certain facial expressions during brief conversations that are appropriate for the intended format. She could pick up new abilities from that individual as well. She seems really genuine. The creator of Jia Jia believes that the shockingly lifelike robot heralds a period when cyborg labor would be widely used in China since she can have a rudimentary conversation and display certain facial emotions when requested. With that, we come to the end. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Spare some time to watch other videos from our playlists too. Bye!